everybody, this is Lilla in Hawaii. It looks like the storm has passed. Um, it hit the big island pretty hard and they're having major floods right now. But I live further to the north, about 600 miles to the north of there. And we got some rain, a few bits of wind, blew some things around, blew a couple of trees over, but not too much. So I'm working on some art. Today's a day I can go out onto my Lanai where I have my paint station set up and I paint out there. So I thought I would show you some things that I work on that are a little bit different than, you know, the sewing and the lace and the, all that kind of thing. I like to work on themes and one of my favorite artists to, who inspires me is Monet. I like the, his kind of impressionistic style. I like, or it is impressionistic, and kind of suits my sort of whimsical style. I like to paint and I like to do art and I like to, when I'm doing this kind of thing, I like it to be rather quick and just, as I say, the impression of something. So before I show you what's here in this box, I will just show you a couple of Monet inspired things. This is a brooch I made has a glass piece that I cut and that's one of Monet's pictures and then inside this piece of lace and a little butterfly. Um, these are some cards I made painting Monet's garden. This one's painting of his garden and I have his poppy fields here. It's another card. These are cards to mail to a friend or something and they're originals, they're not copies. And this is another version of the bridge in his garden in Givone. Now those I'm not putting inside the box, and this is the box. And I call this Monet Studio. This is his studio box, and I was lucky one time to find years ago this lovely box. It's very strong. It's made of, I think it's really made of heavy cardboard. And it actually had Monet's water lilies around the sides of it. And I just mimicked some of the, um, like on the back, I, some of his style of painting. And then I made a collage for the front of it, like that. And that's Monet's house in the south of France. So that's a collage with fabric and paint and, you know, the stuff I put on things. A bit of lace, I suppose. When you open the box, there's Monet's studio. And in the lid, I put a little tableau of Monet and studio. The things that I saw when I was reading one of his bios, and this would be something that he might put on his chalkboard or something to remind him of things to do. And it said, visit my yacht, buy graphite, clean out my brushes, I need window curtains, I need to finish some sketches, remove weeds from the garden. I need a shade of new oils. I need to frame some of the miniatures. I need lacquer. I need to rename a portrait. I need to finish sketches and so forth. So that's <laughs> a reminder I made up. But I did read some information. So inside, here's one of his unfinished paintings, his watercolors. Here are two of the miniatures that he has to frame, his little miniatures. These are little miniatures on canvas. See, like that. So those need to be finished. Also in here, I have one of his old paintbrushes, all grungy. So I just took an old paintbrush and grunged it up some more, painted it with some of his colors on there. And in here is his cloth, his, you know, wipes his brush with his sort of pick up the odd bits of paint cloth. And so I just took a piece of muslin and I used it myself when I was doing some painting and just kept adding to it. It's a piece of chalk that he can write things on his chalkboard. He has to have his bottle of wine. There, it's red wine bottle, a little bottle. This is just a little bottle where he keeps some bits and pieces, it's gold, and here are some canvases ready to work on, 
He's got the base on them, but they need to be worked on some more. So put those back there. And then here is a tag of one of that I did of Monet's, one of his lavender fields, actually. And then here is an exemplar. There are two exemplars, I think, in this box because there's another layer to the box. And here is another layer, which I'll show you in a minute. So let me put this up again. So this is Monet's exemplar. And I love making exemplar. I think they uh, are useful. You can go through them and you can be inspired. You can add little bits to them, little sort of like um, a mood board or something, but in this sort of fashion. So here's his, na his name on there. And this is some of his trying out some colors. He was fiddling around, trying out some different paint techniques and colors. He was painting some of his water lilies here. So another idea, I think he was doing a sky here. And then he was doing a glass of water here. So this is the glass. Let's see, some more water lilies. And more water lilies. So that's Monet's exemplar that goes in the top part of the box. So now I'm going to open this part. I don't think I'll close it. And I'll show you what's in this. First of all, he has his sketchbook. And this one's made of fabric. And I made this with fabric. Just took muslin. I painted as he. I thought he would paint. So here are his paintbrushes in a jar. And then I just stamped on different words and things. So it's made sort of like a fabric book. The next page, sometimes I would, you know, put on a label. The next page is one of the houses he liked to paint in the south of France. He loved to paint the canoes. They were little flat skiffs in, in the waterways, and I actually saw some of those. And um, so one of his famous paintings, this is my representation of it, not very good, but it was a summer outing, and they went to the water. And here's one of his houses that he painted in Provence. Here are some of the boats he painted. What else is there? Okay, and on this side, there's a garden scene. His, that's his wife in the garden, a Givonnet. And over here is a portrait of his studio. And then on the back is just some more paintings. He liked to keep birds in cages, and he loved pots of lavender. So that's what that is. So that goes in the bottom. There's a pocket in the bottom, kind of like a secret bottom, bottom um, pocket. <laughs> Here is another exemplar of Monet. And this one is little paintings I did and quotes of his. And, uh, and they're authentic quotes. I found them in books. So here is the cover, and this painting, you know, as I say, they're all original paintings, mostly on canvas, some are on, on fabric. Okay, so this one says, I'm not performing miracles, I'm using up and wasting a lot of paint. This one says, a good impression is lost so quickly. And this one says, color is my day-long obsession. This one, the more I live, the more I regret how little I know. Isn't that true? This one, I must have flowers, always and always. That's his windowsill. And then on the back, I made a little tag with his, the colors that he actually used, found them in a book, and I painted little um, blocks of them down there. So those are the colors that Monet used. That was his palette. So there were seven colors in his palette, if you include white as a color. Of course, I made them a little brighter. He used them generally a little um, lighter. Then on the back, I just put quotes by Monet and paintings by Lilla. So that also goes in there. 
and this unfinished work, I've got other things to add to it that I'm working on still, and I've actually sold a lot of things that used to be in here. So here we go again, I'm closing up the base, and then this flips over, and it's magnetized so it stays, it's just lovely. So there's Monet's studio. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.